Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is the biggest update in workspaces in Premiere Pro ever. This is the new Essentials workspace. Okay, so first things first, if you don't like the new Essentials workspace, don't use it. Don't comment that you don't like it. This is for people who want it. It's a new workspace that's inside Premiere Pro, and, and a workspace is a collection of panels. Adobe has given us tons of workspaces in the past, and you can customize your own. I lived with this for a, about a month and a half to make sure I really do like it, and I do like it. It's a clean workspace, and it's great for smaller screens like laptops. Let me show you the difference between the edit workspace, which was the default, and the essentials workspace, which is supposed to be the new default if you have completely clean preferences and you've reset Premiere Pro. So the thing that we're used to is editing. And if you haven't noticed, workspaces are over here on the right now, and the name is being shown because I have this checked. And you can reset these to save workspace. And the first thing you'll notice is, there's a lot of wasted space, the timeline is a little bit smaller, and the program window is off to one side. Let me show you essentials. The first thing you'll notice is one view in the middle. And that's the view we have here with the program monitor, which shows you what you're playing on the timeline. Where did the other monitor go? Well, that's the source monitor behind it, so if you double click on a clip, it opens in the source monitor. As soon as you play the timeline, the program monitor comes to the front. So some people want to have the editing workspace with the source monitor open all the time. I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm telling you why I don't need that as much as I need a big timeline, okay? So let me show you what I think is important. And I'll, I'll divide the screen. So on the upper left, this is, your stuff coming in to Premiere Pro. The middle is your stuff, the timeline, and, and you can see that. On the right-hand side is what you're doing to your stuff, the effects controls, color, graphics, and things like that. Each one of these panels comes up when you select it. If you double click on a panel name, it opens up, double click, and again, and it closes down. Same with any of the panels. So by default, we have our project bin, and I've got a second one open here. I'm just gonna close that panel. That was open because I double clicked on my B-roll. <clears throat> Your effects, the new Frame IO collaboration panel, and the libraries. So that's what's showing up in the left. If you want, you can add more things to that. And you could take the essentials as a default setting and then tweak it a little bit, which I did. But let me keep going on this. So down at the bottom is a giant timeline. Look at this big, beautiful timeline that you can zoom around on, zoom in. There's lots of room for you to work. Now in the top right, the effects controls have moved over here. And I'll be the first one to admit Having my effects controls go from the upper left to the upper right is a big adjustment. Don't like it? Drag that panel over to the left. Um, and then beside that is the Lumetri panel for changing color. And then the essential graphics, essential sound, and text. So if you use the scroll wheel, you can actually scroll between all of these two. Now, the one thing I, I did find that's kind of odd is look at this giant gray space here. Um, after using the scroll wheel, it kind of messes things up. So if you double click and then double click on it again, it resets that. I'm sure Adobe's gonna fix that. But anyway, so that's the essential workspace. I like it, but I tweaked mine a little bit. I wanted my effects controls to be a little bit wider. And I didn't need all the width on the left. So if you move your mouse in between these panels, you can resize them. So I size this down a little bit, and then I move this over, just to give me a little bit more room to work in the effects control panel. The other thing I like to have is a track mixer. So in the window menu, Audio Track Mixer opens on the left, 
If you grab the, the name of it and drag it around, if you put the blue in the middle, it's going to put it behind these. If you put it to the left, it'll put it beside it. So if I drag it over here, now I've got my audio track mixer right there and I've got all of my controls here. So I liked that a little bit better. Now, if, if you go to the Lumetri color, it doesn't open the scopes. So if you wanna have that, then drop the scopes in on the left. Maybe you don't need the frame IO. So let's close that up. So I'm gonna close that panel and let's put the Lumetri scopes over there. Now the Lumetri scopes opened over here. I'm gonna drag them over here because when you are working on color, you're going to be working over here and you're seeing the scope results here and the program. So all of this together can be my new essentials. So in, if I don't reset essentials, reset it, then this is my new essentials. But I think that's a little bit too risky because sometimes You'll forget to save it. You've set all these things up and then you reset it. And ah, where'd my workspace go? By the way, workspaces are saved in projects. So you could open an old project and the workspace would be there. This doesn't change all of your other pro, uh, projects that you have saved, but let's save this as a new workspace. So back in here and I can show, um, save this as a new workspace and I can call this Colin. And now I have a new uh, workspace up here and it shows up at the bottom down here. And if I wanted to, I could edit workspaces and I could drag Colin all the way up to the top. Click OK. And now when I go in here, there it is up at the top. So previously I have saved one and I called it home base. But this is just a great way to work. It has all of my tools available. I can get to all the main panels that I really like to work on. I can see the controls that I want to see. Like I said, if you don't like this, don't use it. I, I took at least a month and a half to get used to this because that old edit workspace, source, program, timeline, that's been around since the beginning of time with Premiere Pro. This is a huge change, but I think it's a good one. Live with it for a while. Anything new is gonna take you a little bit of time. So I suggest go to Essentials, just live with the, the default Essentials. Some things are gonna frustrate you. No, why isn't it have the, or do I need the frame I own? No, there's a special review workspace for frame I own. So why is that up there? So turn that off. Put the ones that you want in there, save it, tweak it. I'll probably tweak mine again a little bit. And here I'm on a uh, my uh, Dell 17 inch screen. So when I'm on my big 4K monitor, this Essentials workspace actually opens up a little bit bigger just due to the scale uh, of what I'm zooming in Windows. So I get more panels. I, all of my panels on the top right and left are completely showing. None of them are hidden. It's easier for me to get to. But give this a try. I, I made a specific tutorial just for this workspace because I think it's so valuable. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to shake up your world and maybe make things a little bit easier for you to use.